G'day! In today's video I'm just going to show you how to put together a three shot panorama. Uh, this is shot in landscape orientation of the Milky Way. So first of all you need to identify your three shots. Here they are here. So if we bring that up you can see this is the southern end of the Milky Way. This is our first shot. And you need to have your camera set up uh, nice and level on your tripod either using your built-in digital level that's in your camera or the bubble level that's on your tripod. But either way you want to get it nice and level and you also want your shots to overlap by about 25-30%. Okay, so there's your first shot, there's the middle shot and this is the northern end shot. So if we get our three shots we highlight all three of them go up to photo, photo merge, panorama and just builds a preview, there's your preview you can see it's cropped it a bit tight so if we get the boundary warp slider and just adjust that a bit, it's a bit laggy you can see that's just given us a little bit of breathing space on the top there might just take a little bit more there you go, so we'll just merge This is the one I've already done and edited. Let's just take a few more seconds. There you go. So we just bring that up, take that into the develop module, and there you have it. You would just uh, go ahead and edit that just like you normally would edit any other uh, photo. Now, the other type of panorama is I want to show you is a vertical panorama where the images are stacked on top of each other so if we go into a library module and I need to go into my 2020 folder for May the 15th at Donovan's and that's why it's important when you're importing images to give each uh, folder of images a um, month a date and a brief description and it just makes life a lot easier um, you know, further up the track when you need to find things. So it's just good housekeeping, really. So here's the two shots. You can see this one's got more foreground and this one's got more sky. So I want to stack them on top of each other. So we just highlight both of, both of those. Now, obviously, Lightroom can't stack them on top of each other the way in landscape orientation like this. So we need to turn them into portrait orientation. So to do that we use the rotate arrows here. Now if you don't have these on your setup you need to go over here to the little arrow here and check the rotate box and that will come up there. So we just need to rotate both of them like that. Go up to photo, photo merge, panorama. Again this will build a preview. Hit merge just take a little while to build that there we have it we can open that up now we need to flip it around back to where it was you can see it's a little bit crooked so we need to go into the develop module you see that's where Lightroom's cropped it so I'm just going to bring it in a little bit more and straighten that horizon so to straighten that horizon you just take your cursor off off the image left click and drag and just use the grid there that's what I use just use my eye to do it click done so there's your image with the two shots stacked on top of each other so now we've got the full Milky Way and more of the river down here and you just obviously, you know, go ahead again and uh, edit that as you would. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.